Hi, this is my Arduino project. It's a reps counter. It counts your reps while you do your workout and gives you your time and keeps your, your record and everything. So I'm going to do a set of 500 burpees and we'll see how long it takes. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be my video for the day. So here we go. It was a rainy day in Moncton, and I was bored. Since I'd gotten a bunch of new widgets in the mail, I decided to make an Arduino project, and I got to my workbench and put together a voltage divider button controller. Essentially, this is a bunch of it's five buttons in parallel with their own resistance and their resistances are in series with a common resistor that's tied to VCC. So when you press a button, one of the five buttons results in one of the five different voltage dividers providing a different voltage to the Arduino depending on which button you pressed. So that's the voltage divider. Um, the difficult thing about this is putting it together because it's a lot of soldering and stuff and cutting and getting it all ready and everything. Because the actual calculation of the resistors is relatively straightforward if you know what you're doing. And once you got this working, the best thing to do is not drop a bunch of hot glue on it because apparently hot glue damages resistors. Huh, what do you know? Then I had to take a box and cut it up by using one of my old soldering irons, the pointy tip, and I sat down to write some code. Took me two weeks, I'm done. So this is the reps counter. I just finished working on it for the last two and a half weeks or so, and it's pretty cool. So it's got um, it's got an LCD. It's got the ultrasonic range detector, it's got five buttons and two LEDs over here and it's got a potentiometer to control the brightness of the screen like that uh, a power on off switch because there's a battery in it so it'll run on a battery it uh, uses a square battery right now but I've got plans to get rechargeable uh, 1.5 lithium ion batteries they're in the mail, I'll get them eventually with a slow ship from China, right now it's powered by the USB port right here and um, there's a hole in the side there for the USB port, so I'm just stick it in and uh, power it up. So let's have a look at this thing here. Mm, okay, so if right now I've got the burpees 500, this thing can store up to 30 odd workouts. So you can load whatever workout you want, and it can either count up, count down, timer, you know, it's a stopwatch or timer, whatever you want. This one here is the burpees 500 so it starts at 500 and it counts down from 500 500 reps as it keeps track of your time so i just launch it press the, one of the buttons there the button on the left and the light flashes a little bit there then it starts and when it starts right now i'm within the trigger range so i'll zoom in a little bit here while staying away from it so right now you can see that i'm still within the trigger okay here now I'm far enough away, so the, the trigger, what happens here is, this thing here, is the ultrasonic, measures the distance it is from an object, the distance away from an object, the nearest object in front of it will, um, will be detected, and it tells you what the, um, what the range is. And um, to get really precise results, you're supposed to use uh, weather and you know, the meteorology to figure out what the atmospheric pressure is and the humidity in the air. And you combine all these things to get different factors and figure out, under normal conditions, you know, if you're at the gym or whatever, it's good enough. You don't need all that, so you don't need all that. Basically, right now, I'm within the 30 centimeter range. That's why it's counting down from 80 to 489. So right now, I'm, I've pulled the camera away. It's no longer in front of it. 
but you see it's 489, right? When I move in front here, the light goes off, it's red, and then it goes back to green, so it's 488. Go in front of it, it's 487. So when you get in within a range of the trigger, it triggers it and it detects something there and it counts one, one rep. And right now, this particular workout has it programmed that uh, when the trigger goes off, there's a timer, and the timer elapses before the trigger can be triggered again. So let's have a look at this thing. So I'll look at the menu. Cancel this. I'll stop this workout here. So cancel that. Now I'm back at you know, the beginning, ready. And uh, if we view the workout, these menus here are pretty cool. I'll talk about how the uh, the menus. They took up so much memory in the original design because the, there's so many strings involved that I had to come up with a new design for the, the menus. But I'll talk about that in the article. So this is the view of this current workout. So we can look at this workout here. And um, so it's called 500, Burpees 500. And we'll scroll down here. It's a stopwatch, the SW stopwatch countdown. That's the type of workout. There's four different types. This is stopwatch countdown. So it starts off with a count of 500. And it's a stopwatch, so it keeps track of your time from zero, counting up the time as it counts down the reps. And the trigger here, minimum is 30. So 30 centimeters, we come within 30 centimeters of it. This distance here, it detects uh, burpee and or whatever exercise you're doing and the reset for that trigger is 1.5 seconds and my best time which I did today um, it was cool outside it's September and it was morning and I was was in the sun but it was a nice breeze so I did uh, 500 burpees in 38 minutes 58 seconds and 0.7 seconds 38 minutes 58 seconds for 500 burpees which I am quite pleased with and I wouldn't have done that well if I hadn't had some timer and a counter such as this thing is telling me what my time was and so this particular workout here the burpees 500 um, every workout has the option of sequencing automatically into a next workout so you start you do one workout you do like reps of um, you know, dumbbells or something and then after you've done 10 reps then it'll sequence into something else and it'll tell you go to you know your next workout is and then you just do whatever whatever you planned whatever you programmed okay so I'll exit this view that I just went back I exited the view here and we can scroll here with this menu this is a menu you can see the blinking thing you know, telling you which option you've currently selected. The plus at the bottom down here says there's more stuff down below so you can go down and uh, the minus above the plus means that there's something above so you can go up or down and as you go down this here there's nothing there's no plus anymore so there's nothing beyond that. So if we look at preferences, uh, we'll select preferences, we can default Select a default workout right now. When I unplug it and plug it back in, turn it back on with the battery or however I do, the default workout is the plank. Okay, so the plank is the current workout. That's the workout that's loaded right now. If I look at this plank here, so it's a plank, it's a timer, no count, it's 10 seconds. Yeah, I do the plank for 10 seconds. No, it's, it's um, get ready to plank left. So then I do it so sequels into plank left and plank left is another workout that I can load from the EEPROM. The EEPROM on the Arduino has 1024 bytes. Okay, bytes we're talking about, not kilobytes, megabytes, it's bytes. So if I load the planks, planks is ready, I look at I view planks, this is plank left, timer no count, five minutes. So I do plank left, I stand, I you know, do the plank on one arm there, leaning to the side for five minutes, and then after that, the next workout is ready plank right, and so forth. It goes ready plank right, plank right, ready plank front, plank front, and then ready plank left again, and then plank left, and it just cycles around like that for as long as I can you know, tolerate it. 
So you got, uh, if I set the preferences, like we've already seen now, the preferences, right now the default setting is for start playing. But let's say I wanted to do burpees 1000. So I want to do 1000 burpees today. I set it, it as the default workout. And now I've still got plank left loaded, but when I unplug it, power it back up, it says burpees 1000. So we can look at the burpees 1000. And so it's it's called burpees 1000. It's a stopwatch countdown. Count is 1000. The trigger's 30 centimeters. Reset one and a half seconds. And my best time for 1000 burpees, which I wouldn't have done. Like normally I'd take about 95, 90, above 90 minutes. Okay, this time I pushed myself with this this thing here helps me because it's telling me what my pace is, what my time is, how many I got left, and okay, it was September and it is a little cool out. One hour and 27 minutes, that's like 87 minutes and 30 seconds, that's a good five minutes off my regular time, which is great, right? So next workout, none. Okay, so that's the default when you go to the preferences here. You can also toggle the sound. You got a workout sound. You can toggle it. It's off or toggle it. It's on. Uh, the system sounds, toggle them on. What with the system sounds on, whenever I make a selection, it'll it'll make a sound. It'll you know confirm or cancel that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so this thing's freaking amazing. I I I love this thing. It took me like two and a half weeks to make and um, there was a bit of a headache with like I, I trash I had to remake the button voltage divider thing here because I was using hot glue and apparently hot glue damages resistors and not something you want to do so um, so it's improved and it's getting better and got other ideas other plans but right now this is it this is the way it is I got um, some rechargeable batteries on the way we can open this up and have a look at it inside I'll unplug it have a look at it inside it's it's really crowded um, you know you got the battery in there it's it's a little dense and all that and the, but the wires are really crowded in there and so that's a that's a square battery in there and uh, so I've got plans for rechargeable lithium-ion batteries and uh, that'll be the next thing to do so for now it's working on a square battery and changing the battery is a little dangerous but it's uh, it's fine, you know, like, it's, it's freaking awesome, it rocks, I love this thing, alright. Time is but the stream I go fishing in. I drink at it. But while I drink, I see it's sandy bottom and detect how shallow it is. Its current slides away, but eternity remains. I would drink deeper, fish in the sky, whose bottom is padded with stars. All right, so here we are. This reps counter is, is amazing. You can either have it, there's four settings. You can either have a stopwatch that counts up both the time and your burpees or reps. You can have a stopwatch that counts down. So you preset a number of reps you want to do and it tells you when to stop and keeps track of your time. Or you can have a timer. You preset the amount of time you want to work out and it counts up the reps, or alternately, if that's what you want, it's a timer with no counts. It's really, really great because, like, it pushes me. I don't know if you can read that. It pushes me to go faster and do more. Anytime there's a counter, you know, like, it's like having a coach over top of you saying, all right, you're on pace or you're too slow or whatever. You know, when you go to the gym, you have your exercise bike and you know how much your time is and everything. Um, with this thing, instead of spending my time counting in my head while I do the burpees, I could just, you know, think about my next Arduino project or, you know, that girl I like or whatever, or the next novel I'm going to write or a combination of, you know, just uh, 
concentrate on anything other than counting. Um, it's not waterproof, so the only place where you really can't use this is in the pool. Other than that, I mean, you can you can use it to count your laps around the gym. You can do uh, suicides and just wave your hand in front of it. You could do push-ups, burpees, sit-ups, leg ups, you know, curls, whatever. As long as you in, you you move something in front of the detector there, it'll count your reps. So it's a really great project, and I'm really pleased with it. And um, so you can read the article, and if you know anything about electronics or Arduino, you can make your own. That's, uh, that's what open source is all about. And if you don't know anything about Arduino, it's a good time, you know, with quarantine and everything. Uh, you can quarandino, quarandino, and spend your time learning something new doing Arduino, and uh, I strongly recommend it. And if you want a reps counter, but you don't want to make your own, just send me a message and uh, you pay for the parts and shipping and there's a good chance I'll make you one because this thing is great. So, alright, well, thanks.